In this video, we'll discuss how your eyebrows relate to kindness and compassion, as well as anger, grit, and determination. Enjoy. Hey everybody, we're going to talk about the eyebrows today. This has been definitely a consistent topic in my face reading videos, but I want to do a little bit of a deeper dive into these and some of the metrics you want to track, the things that you want to think about when we're looking at eyebrows. So as I've said before, the eyebrows are a part of the wood element. So the root of the wood element, if you think of a tree, the root system is the jaw and the definition, the size and the dominance, that's the root system or the strength of the root system. And then from there, the eyebrows are sort of the foliage, the leaves of the tree, how well that energy expresses out into the external world. So to a degree, you can think of the root system as what's underground and not seen, sort of the internal mechanisms, the internal drive. And then this is sort of the outward expression of how much that foliage is going to be seen, how much blossoming is happening, how much expression is happening. So a couple things to think about. When we talk about the wood element, you'll hear me talk about a lot of times how the wood regulates the liver and gallbladder. And at the emotional level, the negativity, okay, the, the dark side of that is anger, frustration, and irritability, a short fuse. So yes, with those eyebrows, that is the dark side of the metric or the wood element that we want to track. And then the positive side is actually kindness and compassion. So if you see really bushy eyebrows on a person, it doesn't always just mean they're angry and hot-headed. It can, it can point to that, but oftentimes it can also mean very creative in terms of the energy that they express outwardly into the world and also kind and compassionate. Sometimes even innovative. People with really bushy eyebrows can have that creative capacity. Now you may ask why, why is that the case? If we think about the elements and their behaviors, how they behave in the external world, wood is about creation and growth. So trees are perpetually growing upward towards the sky and they grow up and out and they grow in two directions, up and down. The root system goes down into the earth, the foliage and the tips of the tree move up and the tree grows out. So this idea of growth and creative expression is where that comes from. So you have to remember the elements that we see in Eastern theory relate to the human body, they relate to people because the basic overriding metric is we are an extension of the natural world. So when we see these eyebrows, definitely these are the metrics to be thinking about. Kindness and compassion, kind of on the positive side, irritability and anger on the other side. Now, with that being said, when we see eyebrows, there's a couple other things to think about because the wood element relates to also to the sex drive and to creativity, as I just mentioned, we also want to think about some of the the eyebrow shapes. Sometimes when we see a thicker, okay, thicker eyebrow here that come naturally to a point, they thin as they go out. The closer set that thickness is, okay, if we have thick bushy area right here, and then again it starts to get thinner. When it's close and thick and bushy right in here, out to a thinner, this is usually some kind of indic indicative marker of a high sex drive or a high interest in sex or something relating to the libido. We can also see this in the mouth, but we're not gonna talk about that today. But the eyebrows, that is something to consider, okay? So you wanna think in terms of life nourishment. If you were getting a face reading with me and I saw bushy eyebrows, these metrics, emotionally, I would be asking about. How well do these things express? When you're in good space, does it express this way? When it's not so good, do you express this way? And then learning how to moderate that, how to regulate that. So the last little piece that I'll say about the eyebrows as well, is that with the eyebrows being really bushy, okay, and really dominant, this is also very indicative of a person who is willing to argue their point, fight their point, and really stand their ground in terms of a disagreement. So people with really bushy eyebrows, you'll see this sometimes that if they, they make a stand for something, they say, you know, I'm not doing that, and there's no way you're going to make me doing it, you'll often see that trait aligned with these thick, bushy eyebrows. Now, the last little piece outside of that, okay, is that that very pushy side, if a person's eyebrows are collectively very sparse and very thin, the thing to remember is that person is not going to be amazing at confrontation. They're not gonna have the juice or the liver energy to really push and argue and fight the point. So, they have to go about things a bit differently. They've got to have a softer approach, a softer word, a softer expression in terms of getting things done. One is not better than the other. Some people are designed to do certain things really well. Other people are designed to do other things very well. So if you've got questions, put them down below. As always, thanks for your time.